Assalamu alaikum. Well, in this tutorial, we'll learn how to build a tab bar without app bar. Well, by meaning that this is what I mean. So, over here, you see I have three tab bars and now they're responsive. In general, this should be your app bar. And app bar, you can also have tabs, different tabs. But now, here, these tabs are in the body section of this screen or page. Okay. So that's that's what we'd be doing in this tutorial we'll learn how to build a tab bar not in the app bar without app bar okay and then you'd be able to scroll like this okay left and right or up and down like this okay all right well now to follow along with me you should check out the link in the description below and download the starter code so basically we would be building just this section okay so let's get started well, if you download the code from the link below, you will have a starter screen like this, okay? And then you should come here, over here, this popular places, this file, Dart file, and over here, we need to implement our tab bars, okay? Well, now, regarding tab bars, we have few important concepts that we should know. Well, actually, two important concepts. One is tab bar, and there is a tab bar view, this one. Well, tab bar actually takes tabs property and within tab will have children and ch children could be inserted as using tab this constructor. Well, of course, you can have your custom children and it's OK, but in that case, the styling would be a little bit different. So the first thing we need to know that this tab bar takes tabs property and within tab will have children okay and this children would be shown at the top if you see over here so the children would be here so whatever you put within this list over here this is a list the children would be shown over here okay and the other one is tab bar view now tab bar view also takes children okay but not in a special property like tabs it just takes children as a list now here you will have your custom widget or however you want to display it and now this section here would be displayed over here okay yeah so that's the basic idea so now tab bar and tab bar view they work together okay so they have one-on-one -on -one relationship how let me tell you I mean, the children, they have one-on-one -on -one relationship. So it has children over here. These are the children and the children over here. So this is the first child is a tab. So this would correspond to the first child in the children list. Okay. The second one would correspond to this one. So the children, they have one-on-one -on -one relationship. Okay. Now let's go back to coding. So now this is the place over here we'll start coding. So f find your code between this two sized box. Okay, this is where we'll start. Now simply you can put your tab bar and tab bar view within containers. So we'll put them within two different containers. So first we'll do container over here. And uh, our container will have a child. Okay. Now within child we'll have tab bar, okay? Yes. Now tab bar of course takes tabs, otherwise you'll get error, okay? Yeah, so if you hover over on it, it says it takes argument tabs. So we need to implement that one, tabs, and we need children, okay? And uh, okay, anyway, so we'll do container and we'd go ahead and do tab bar view. So here we'll also Put it as a child and you will get similar error because it's asking you that you should have children so now here would do children and empty so in this in both cases the children they're empty okay well now the very simple way we could go ahead and start like this so within it i can put a tab so now over here we'll write the children and we'll use tab constructor and it takes a text and over here we'll first write places and the next one we we'll do again so it's a text and inspiration 
and the other one is text emotions okay of course it should be small letter t uh, sorry okay now that should be gone now regarding this three we should have three children over here because once you tap on this it will show up the content from here okay well definitely what we could do we can just go ahead and do say for example text hi so we do text there and text here just for demonstration purpose now if you go ahead and run it you might see errors okay now it says no tab controller so actually for each of these cases we need tab controllers and why we need tab controllers because tab bars they need to maintain state what is that once you click on this one it should show the child over here this child once you click on this one it should see the child over here like this okay so now this is maintained in a state and if we have a controller we can do that now we need to create a tab bar controller which i already did so it is a tab bar controller takes a constructor and you need to pass vsync and the length of how many tab bars you will have in our case we'll have three i already did that so we'll just copy this one and pass this in the tab bar and tab bar view so over here we we'll do controller it is a controller property and just paste this one and the same over here controller tab bar controller okay now let's run it one more time and the error should be gone okay now let's see what else okay now this error is because we need to put some constraint to our box okay in our case this is container okay so that's why we we are seeing this error okay horizontal view port bound was not given now over here so look at this one so this tab bar view it should have a bound okay so here bound means width and height so that's what we will do we we'll do width say double dot max infinite so whatever width is available we'll use that one and then we we'll do height so that's 300 now let's go ahead and run it okay so now we see things over here but you can click on them but now you see these things are not visible so that's because the color property okay so now we can go ahead and set the color property over here now the first one is over here you see it says places so now this is selected this is not selected so this is called a selected label and this is unselected label so that's what we would do so now here we would write here say label color colors dot black okay and at the same time we would do unselected label color okay and colors dot say uh, white this one okay now let's go ahead and run it so it's here but definitely I think we need to work on this one so instead of this we could do gray okay so now this is my selected test uh, tab and this is unselected tab so it's already working okay yeah but we want to show the result as we saw earlier in the demo so not really ugly looking like this okay now in the demo well if you see the picture so they are on the left side okay so we need to take care of this thing first and how to do that okay so there are a few properties we can use the first one is alignment property okay so this tab bar we can wrap around align constructor or widget so here we'll write align and now over here what we would do we would do alignment
dot center left okay now let's go ahead and see well it didn't change a lot of thing because at the same time we need to use other some other properties that we can take care what is called level padding okay this one and const edge insets only so we do left zero right zero now let's look at the result and at the same time we need to set up another property it's called is scrollable is scrollable true okay now let's run it one more time okay well now it looks like it's working but now here let's uncomment this one mm, yes so it's pretty much aligned over here uh, on the left side as they have so here actually what we could do we could set up left and right padding and now you'll see it perfectly aligns with this one okay yes but now we do have a bit of problem with this one we want we don't want this one so we want a dot like this okay so how to do that well now for that one we need to use a property which is called indicator okay now here i'll use the property indicator and we'll use a circle tab indicator a custom class that we created and over here we need to pass the color so we do colors dot black and it's a black 12 and we also need to pass a radius ra so we we'll pass radius zero now this is a custom widget that i created and that should be in your file at the bottom okay over here this is the file so i'm not going to explain this one right now so let's go ahead and see the result over here okay now let's run it and see the result yes so it's there okay now of course maybe it's too uh light so we can change the color a little bit now it's black okay now it's working perfectly okay now with saying that you see if you remove this one so these properties are quite important so scrollable level padding and indicator pretty much they work together especially this two if you remove any of them it won't align as you expect so let's comment out this one okay now as you see so it's not aligning perfectly so you need both of them to work together as you want to align correctly in your app okay so that part is quite important okay now next part is showing the image okay well now the image is like as we saw early over here like that or in the demo now that's pretty easy so over here so we don't want this so over here we'll have children and for children we'll have list view builder so now the first one is an empty constructor or a default construct uh, context and the next one is index all right so we'll pass index over here now from here uh, we need to return a child or a widget actually and in this case we'll return a container and container will have height 300 and width say 200 and now we'll use decoration we we'll do box decoration and uh, now box decoration will have radius border radius so we we'll do border radius very quickly and dot circular dot say 20 all right and now it takes image so we we'll do decoration image because we want to show image and then another image property it takes and within it we'll use asset image okay and it takes the image path now over here our images are in img folder and they're in a list called images and now we'll go through the list index over here okay now this images list is at the top as you can see okay so this is a list if you don't know what is list check out my other tutorials anyway um so now over here this is the first one that i'm showing okay okay now what you could do we need to define some other proper properties of it so like item counts so how many times it should run so three times because we have three images so item count three 
Okay, now let's go ahead and run it and see the result. And I think we have an error. Let's take care of this error here. Uh, so this is tab bar view. We're good. Okay. So because we are returning, we are missing semicolon. So now go ahead and run it. Okay, now here the controllers has three properties which doesn't match, which earlier we said that we need three of them, right? Because we have three tabs. So I'll just go ahead and paste them. Okay, now you go ahead and run it. It should work. Okay, perfect. So it's there everywhere. But now it's scrollable up and down, but that's not what we want. So we want to scroll them for first one, we'll to scroll them left and right. So over here we can set another property. So it's uh, scrolling direction, I think. So it's axis dot horizontal. Okay. Now let's run it. It should change. Okay. Yeah, it did. Well, now this image is a bit smaller. But now we can set up other properties very quickly. So now over here we can apply margin to it for this section. We do margin const edge only left 20. Okay. Now this container, this images, they should also have margin. So we do margin const edge insets only. So we do, oh, sorry. Only we do left, say 10. Uh, well, we don't need left. I think we can just go with the right margin, say 10. Now let's save it. Now it's looking much better. But yeah, over here you see it's too close to the top. So, well, I think over here we can apply this one, say another margin, say top 10. Mm, yes, so now it looks much better. Okay. Now you see this. There is this a little bit edge. We can get rid of that one using a property of fit. So you do box fit dot uh, cover. Okay. Now it's of course much better. But now you see. So this is uh, scrolling left and right, but this one is up and down. So which doesn't affect each other. Okay. All right, so you get the basic idea that how they should work okay now last thing is that about uh, this uh, setup which we had early for our let me see our tab bar over here indicator it, it's quite important because indicator only takes uh, decoration as a widget so our circle tab indicator actually implements decoration okay now if you extend the decoration you have to override a method which is called a uh, create box painter now if you override this method whatever you return that widget should also extend another special widget which is called a box painter okay so if you return a widget over here that widget should have extend should extend box painter as well okay now box painter always should override paint method okay all right now paint method here we have this custom paint anyway so i'm not going to go into detail about this one uh our focus was this tabs okay now of course you can customize them anyway another thing i would like to summarize over here so this tab so if you have three tabs within your tab bar view you should have three children and they should always work and the last important one this controller you should have a controller for state management okay because they're responsive as you click on them the response well if you want to download the complete demo like you saw early so just check out the link below and download it from there okay